going to leave that up. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with it. But anyway, there we go, and we will catch up with it next time. Warning. Production breakdown. All right, folks, here we are. Last we left off, we were working really hard at getting fruit production going, which means we have got to put in a glass factory, and then we have got to uh, put in the fruit. So first we're going to build the glass factory. <sighs> and we're going to need, we've got a sand extractor up there. We're going to need four, four. Um, going to need nine tools, eight blocks, five wood. So ten, ten, and ten will get us the glass works going. So let's take this one. Let's grab ten of lumber. Let's grab 10 of that, let's grab 10 of the tools, and let's grab another 10 of each just to rule out the possibility that when we throw this down, we immediately get a out of power message. So we'll have that taken care of here. Looks like communicators are running wonderfully. As is our health food, finally. Something that, that Mind Fiend and I in our multiplayer game we have discovered before is sometimes the numbers just shift. You don't really see a reason for them having done it. Um, you'll be going along. It's like this where I increase my population and increasing my population seemed to give me more health food when it sh should have gone down. He's had situations where he's had absolutely no problem with his population whatsoever. Hasn't changed them at all. And yet, um, suddenly he's losing money for no discernible reason whatsoever. All right, we need a limestone quarry, which means we're going to have to put in another depot because right at the moment, none of them will reach. So, I'm going to drop it right over here. And that'll get the quarry, and that will get one, two, three, four sand extractors. That is a wonderful spot. Boom. Great place. Right. Um, yes, it's an engineering thing, isn't it? Right. Limestone quarry will go there. Bet I didn't take into account having to build the depot, but hopefully we've got enough stuff. And we should put a glassworks in put it here as well. Let's drop a couple of roads. Eco balance. Values sinking. Yes, I know. But I'm not going to be growing any food on this island yet, so I'm not too terribly worried about the eco balance. As long as it doesn't drop enough that uh, I think if it goes below 5 negative 500, you start getting acid rain, which will actually mess with buildings. But I think otherwise, it's not a big problem. We're also, while we're here, going to convert this to a highway as well. That'll get that little truck moving a lot faster. And we will convert this one to a highway. There we go. And I think I need to get that last end, don't I? There we go. Good. That's about as much as I can do to get those uh, get those trucks and the deliveries going quicker. We have made our first ton of glass now. I need to put this ship on pause, and I am going to change his trade route. That's the siren. It's doing the cell phones. It's also going to pick up... Actually, no. I'm going to grab the glass manually. Is that correct? Glass, fruit production. Yes, I'm going to grab the glass manually for the moment. So you actually go right back to what you're doing. Because I'm going to use this ship to grab the glass when it comes in. 
how much do we need for a fruit plantation? Three tons. Right. I'm going to need five tons of tools and five tons of wood. So we'll get the tools. We will grab back the wood. And we're going to get the glass. And I think that is exactly what we need. Yep. Okay. So let us go over here now. And this is where we're going to slap down the fruit plantation. It's probably not going to be in an optimal location, but all we need it for is to get the five tons to get the blasted monkey off the island. Someone sees King Kong and everybody goes, well, bananas. Speed up time. Get you on over here. There we go. You unload your stuff. And now we can build a fruit plantation. Yes. We're going to put it right here. I have no Fertility idea. values rising. Hmm. Interesting. I have no idea how to lay out these uh, escape. I have no idea how to lay out the uh, farms here. Okay. But I'm going to upgrade upgrade all these highways while we're at it as well. There. Now you need your f eight. Wow. All right. Well, I'm glad I uh, did leave you plenty of room. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. Wow. That is a, a lot of little greenhouses to grow the fruit in. Quite lovely, though. And I think this guy or his brother is just about at every place on the map, because I've seen him at the coffee plantation, too. So he's got a... Uh, Doppelganger somewhere. I assume they're gonna be little fruit trees inside there. How are we coming? Good, good. We just need it to hurry up and produce the five tons. And that is what we're gonna be waiting on. So as soon as it finishes up, we will actually since it's sitting there, let's go ahead and upgrade it. We got it to second level. Can't get it third level right yet because we need some more blocks. So we'll have to hold off on that one. And I will get back to you unless something very strange happens. I will get back to you as soon as we get that five tons of fruit. And that's the thing that I was saying that I might have to break away for. I was sitting here, flop back over to Pana J right quick, and we are out of tea. Tea production has like crept to a standstill here, so we definitely, that's what I was worried about, are going to need to throw down another tea farm. 
before my people right on. start going up in arms about it. All right, I know we can get three. I'm going to put down two farms. Um, one, two, three. Go to highway. Try it again. Game saved. The highway. And then I'm gonna put down another one right here. And it's one. Two three. And we'll probably be able to put a third one over here as well. Have we caught that? How is our people feeling about things? Are they run out yet? They are steadily decreasing. That they are using up our their last dregs in the warehouse as we speak. Hmm. Glad we caught that. Let's hope that that tea comes back up here shortly. How are we doing over here at the dock? We need... I'll need to send out a boat. That'll be my five if y'all will go pick it up. We got another quest at the Opera House. We'll click on that next time. Good. I saw a T. T just came in. Excellent. Y'all are running. 125%. We got the big drying cabinet. There's another ton coming in. Good. Crisis averted. We're not there yet, so let's put our backs into it and get this done. Hopefully we'll see the T. Yes, it is ever so slowly and imperceptibly climbing upwards. Don't you start acting like that. There's plenty of... Oops. I turned off fish. Sorry. There we go. My bad. Yes, T is climbing back up. They are happy again. Good. And their happiness rating is climbing again. You see how that little bar is sliding over to the right again. We've still Excellent. got a lot of work ahead of us. Let's get to it. I agree. Good. It looks like they picked them up. Excellent. All right. So we've now got six tons of fruit. We've still got trench coat to visit as well. So let's find where this mysterious Skull Island is. It's down here with Tilda. I should have known y'all would be hiding apes. Right. Let's see what Tilda... Tilda does not really construct very efficiently. As you see, everything is spread out. Everything's got lots of green space in between it. It's all nice and well if you're building a retirement village or like a uh, like a honeymoon shack. You know, that may be what her, you know, it kind of looks like she's got a yurt here, maybe over there. You know, arts and crafts area. It kind of really looks like um, she's running like a uh, sandals resort or something. A very... A, a, a horse, cool. I hadn't seen a horse before. A very, you know, down to nature, hippy dippy type of uh, type of sandals resort. All right, let's speed up time a little. Should be appearing. There we go. Get your binoculars out. And let's see, did you find the mysterious orangutan? Indeed you did. A distant relative of humankind. So now we need to go deliver that to our ark. That way Mr. Thorn will be able to pick it up. No questions asked and none answered. Good. T is back up to hovering between 9 and 10. How about communicators? That's the other thing that I'm kind of worried about here. Hmm. 
That's doing good. Communicators are still great. Wood is fine. Rice may still be a problem, but we'll keep our eye on it. That's probably the next thing we're going to have to do is throw down a rice field. Okay. Um, and it was clicking here. These are the decorative buildings, I think. Yeah, we've got some more status symbols and stuff that have opened up decorative building type stuff. We'll probably throw down a bunch of the ornamentals and everything um, once we get yeah, you won't get this one. The This right here, the lighthouse, I think is only available maybe. It says eco-executives or tycoon executives. So you might have it. I thought it was only available after uh, the deep ocean expansion. So it may not actually be pop into this world. But we'll keep an eye out and see. We'll do some decorating and all once we. Uh, now it's your turn to help us for a change. Get further along. Deliver five tea and he'll give us 19 pasta dishes. Why couldn't you do that earlier? So, how's it looking? And he's just going to take the five tea right out of my warehouse since this is the island I grew it on. We really bet on the right horse and trust in you. Yes, you did. My analysis shows that your quest directives have arrived. Anytime you want me to uh, get money and licenses for doing nothing, you let me know. I'm eternally grateful to you for that. Result correct. Quest sender will be informed. I guess you gave me the plus 10 with Tilda. Because uh, I gave tea to my people. I told you. The girl's crazy. Alright, there we go. It's taken me another episode Warning. because of the whole glass Reduction thing. Halted. Yeah, well, because of the whole glass thing, but there you go. We've managed to get fruit going. We've gotten inadvertently 950 something uh, eco engineers on the island. <laughs> That's a scary thought. And we've gotten 50 more points with Mr. Thorne. Actually, 100 points if you count the 50 for the election. So there you go. We are going to save it. LP save 10. Game saved. Let's look at our mailbox. New vote available. As you see, it sends you email and stuff. We've got the telling us about the new vote. And you can click here and go to the Senate, which we've already voted for. There's Rufus. Wow, that was enough. I'm already a department head and I've got the portrait. You remind me of myself. I a did. Few years ago. Young, dynamic, loyal. Here, I thought I was at 500, but apparently uh, I must have been closer than I thought because we have reached the bonus. So, next up, I've got to make a big decision. Between now. you and me, the initiative could use more people like you. Do I want to work through her portrait, or since I've got the points, or do I want to go for the arc storage? I think I'm going to go for the arc storage next. We'll get those. What's after that? Yeah, thing to improve the Colossus. You know, I'm not into the battles and stuff, so I don't need that. We're definitely going to work on the 900 points to get the memory expansion. That's going to increase. We'll have four more cargo holds on the Ark, and every cargo holds will go up by 20. So that will be our next thing that we work on. All right, fantastic. We will see you all next time. Thanks for coming along on this trip, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.